Hey, what's up, everybody? I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to my vids, you know, my videos or whatever. Um, really appreciate it. Really appreciate the views, you know. Uh, the topic of the night is 2015 Hangtown Motocross Nationals and my pick and what I think of the track and all that, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I posted a link down below of the pre-riders roster. Y'all can see who's riding in it. Um, just click on the link. A uh, good site called uh, Motocross Addicts it was nice enough to put up a, a roster of everybody that's riding, so you can see who's riding, see where they're from, what bike they're riding, you know. But uh, uh, that's pretty good of them, you know. Uh, the site looks real good. <coughs> All right, my 250 picks. Um, this year, I don't think it's going to be. Uh, a one or two rider dominate this year in a 250 class I really think it's going to be anybody's game every race is going to be anybody's game um, that's how I feel in the 250 class I don't I don't think it's going to be a Martin or whatever but uh, my picks are like I said in the beginning RJ Hampshire um, Jordan Smith Shane McArath and Justin Bogle uh, the two rookies are, I mean, they're fast and they're fearless. Uh, R.J. Hampshire and Justin Bogle, I mean, R.J. Hampshire and Jordan Smith, they're fearless and fast. R.J. Hampshire is smart on the bike. Um, but uh, my other two picks, Shane McArath and Justin Bogle, they've been there. They've done it. They know the tracks. Um, it's this year to shine, uh, especially McArath. You know, he's he's kind of a sleeper. He's coming. Uh, I didn't pick, I didn't say Cooper Webb. I didn't pick Cooper Webb because his foot's been hurt. And he hadn't really been on the bike. Um, so I didn't pick him, you know. I mean, he really hasn't had time to really test. And I wouldn't say Martin for the fact of uh, Ryan Dungey has left uh, the Carmichael Farm. So, who does Martin have to, to really push him and to really spend time with him like Dungey did down there? Um, and like I said, Martin, I mean, he really hasn't had anybody to push him down at the practice track. So, I don't know. And plus, these young guns, I mean, they're, they're coming. They're already there. They're not coming. They're there. All right. Well, anyway, enough said about 250 class. And my 450 class, my pick is... Uh, Eli Tomac, Ken Roxon. I think these two riders are going to go toe to toe all year long. Um, all, I've said from the beginning, I think Eli is going to win the Outdoor 450 Championship. But uh, I think Dungy is going to do what Dungy does sit back and contemplate and uh, sit back a bit and see what uh, what's going to unfold. He ain't going to come out swinging. I mean, that's just my opinion. My opinions only. All this is my opinions. But uh, next topic is the track. Uh, this year the track has some pretty cool features. Uh, it has a half pipe section in it. It also has a 150 foot triple. Now on this 150 foot triple, I've seen it done both ways. And it doesn't look like you're gaining any advantage by jumping the whole thing or just doing the double. Kind of like the uphill triple at, at Muddy Creek. You know, you see riders tripling or you see riders doubling. And they don't look like they've gained any advantage tripling versus doubling. That's the same way I feel about this this triple. Um, they also, in in the track, they, they got a left hand step up, which is like it. It's a, you, got, you come out of a corner with a left hand and bam, there's the wall and you got to step up on top um, I got a link down below uh, motor cross action had uh, uh, Shane McArath put a helmet cam on so you can click on that link and take a lap with uh, Shane McArath but uh, uh, you know Hangtown always brings it they always bring it you know but uh, today I mean I think this race is going to be good but those are my opinions those are my picks um, Watch the race. Really check out the features of this track. I mean, every year Hangtown brings it. Um, 
a little dusty has been in my opinion but I think they're calling for rain tomorrow so uh, anyway uh, watch the race guys keep me posted and I'll talk at y'all later